Welcome. Yeah, so I already showed you how to do this using the definition of the Laplace transform. Uh, and the definition is uh, this here, right? Okay, so uh, in that first method where we did this, uh, we just replaced f of t here with cosine at, and we went from there. And I'll leave a link to that video. But yeah, here we're going to do something much cooler. Now, remember, uh, Euler's identity said that e to the i x is equal to uh, cosine x plus i times sine x. I have a video showing that, so I'll leave a link to that also. But yeah, by manipulating Euler's identity, two of the equations, uh, you could write that cosine x is equal to e to the i x plus e to the minus i x divided by 2. So then cosine at will be this here. Yeah? Okay, cool. So we're still using the definition of the Laplace transform, but instead of replacing f of t here with cosine at, we're going to replace it by this here. And you can see that there's some convenience because we're going to get exponential multiplying exponential, this exponential multiplying these two exponentials, right? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we see that the Laplace transform for cosine at uh, is the same as, if we use this right-hand side, the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st. And as I said, instead of f of t, we're going to use... Um, this here well instead of we have to use f of t but i mean instead of cosine at we're gonna use this here yeah okay 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 cool <laughs> all right and let's write the one half from dividing by two in front of the integral that way our integrand is uh nice and neat and that's gonna be this here right okay cool and next what we're gonna do is distribute this guy to this guy and this guy and if we do and use exponent rules and factor appropriately then we could write uh this here and I'm kind of torn about whether or not I should explain um, how we go from here to here because it's uh, basic algebra. But basically, like when we distribute this guy to this first guy, uh, using exponent rules, we get that this times this is e to the minus st plus i times at. And if we factor out a negative 1 and then a t, then we could write this here in place of the product of this and this, right? And then the product of this and this uh, could be written like that, yeah? Okay, now, notice that in this part, um, since we're integrating with respect to uh, dt, this here is just a constant. The negative of s minus ai, that's all a constant. We, we are integrating with respect to dt. And similarly, in this part, uh, this is a constant. What's multiplying t and the exponent of e, right? So all we have to do is um, uh, basically know that e to the, uh, let's say, uh, k times t has antiderivative e to the k times t divided by k, where k is uh, first this, negative of s minus ai, and then in this part, it's going to be negative of s plus ai, right? Okay, okay, okay. So that's basic, and you should know that. And so this is what we're going to get um, doing the antiderivative. And of course, well, first the antiderivative of this. And we could uh, evaluate from zero to infinity, right? We can think of them as two integrals here, right? If we want. And so there that is. And then plus that plus sign is that plus sign. And then the second um, antiderivative is going to look like this, right? And again, we evaluate from zero to infinity. Now, uh, how does the evaluation work? Well, when we plug in infinity, we're going to get e to the negative infinity. So that's going to be zero. And then we go minus, but then we have a minus sign here. So it's going to be plus we plug in 0. When we plug in 0, we're going to get e to the 0, which is 1. But remember, this will be gone. So we're going to get 1 over s minus ai for this first part. And then this part, we're going to get 1 over s plus ai uh, with very similar reasoning. Yeah? OK, cool, cool. So <laughs> I guess I went a little too fast. But yeah, there that is if you want to see it in slow-mo. OK, OK, OK. So um, all right. So then we get 1 half and then 1 over s minus ai. Uh, and then, uh, and I was just pointing out that that negative there is gone because of the evaluation uh, theorem having a minus sign and plugging in infinity and then plugging in zero and then putting a minus sign between, right? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right. And otherwise, uh, that plus sign is that plus sign. And then we go, this we already said. And clearly, what we have to do in this part is get common denominators. And uh, we do. And so that amounts to doing this, right? And so um, now notice that we're going to get s plus s in the numerator, which is 2s. And then ai minus ai is going to cancel. So we just get 2s in the numerator. And then here we have differences squared. So it's going to be s squared 
minus a i o squared. And so that's going to be s squared plus a squared this here. And so this here too, common denominator, right? Okay. 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 So, uh, that's, uh, I was just pointing that out. Okay. And so we get two s and those guys, as we said, cancel and then divided by s squared minus a i o squared. And we already said what that is. The twos cancel right there, right? This one half and that two right there cancel. And so then what we get is this here, which is what we expected because we've already done this uh, slightly differently, right? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.